How's everyone doing? I don't know if you can see me right here with this giant stack of Blu-rays and DVDs right here. I have a huge, enormous Blu-ray DVD update. I don't know if I can get this all in frame right there. <laughs> and definitely let me know if you've seen any of these movies as well. I'm hoping not to drop them everywhere. All right, let's just get into it. This is going to be more of a mail day because there's a bunch in here I haven't seen. And once I do view them, I'll do a proper update. And first up from Warner Brothers, let me just make sure this is out of frame, is Get Hard right here with two of the most overused comedic actors of our time. And I'm honestly not a huge fan of them comedic movie-wise. I like Kevin Hart's stand-up way better than his movies. A lot of his movies have just been playing awful. Uh, and Will Ferrell, I'm just not a huge fan of him either. They both play very similar roles in most of the movies that they're in. And I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one. I saw the trailers for it, and the trailers look kind of ridiculous and over the top. Will Ferrell sticking a bottle on his head. I'm just like, really? It's, I don't know. I'm going to give it a fair chance, though. I'm going to keep an open mind. Uh, hopefully, the chemistry will be good with them. That's what saved other movies for me. Like, when I first saw 21 Jump Street, the trailers for it, I was like, oh, I'm not a fan of those actors. Uh, I don't think this is going to really work for me. I saw the trailer. I was like, this looks terrible. But then I watched the movie, the 21 and 22, and they had great chemistry, and I ended up loving those movies. So, hoping that'll be the same thing here with Get Hard. Nice slip cover. And all these movies came within the past week. Like, half of them came within like two days of each other and then the other half came like yesterday. There was like a giant stack yesterday. It was craziness. Uh, next up is Vanilla Sky, which is my second favorite movie of all time. Absolutely love this movie. This movie is always going to have a special place in my heart. I saw it in the theaters. I saw it with my then girlfriend at the time that I was with for four and a half years. We were kind of going through a rocky situation. We both kind of uh, got the meaning behind this movie and this is just an incredible movie. It was a remake of Open Your Eyes and this movie is a vast improvement in every aspect. It expands on all kinds of ideas and characters. Uh, the score, the soundtrack, the cinematography, the acting, just everything. Just way better. Leaps and bounds. And this is the first time I ever heard of Sigur Ross on the soundtrack. The soundtrack is amazing. And Sigur Ross, big fan of them now. Uh, and everybody played their parts just perfectly in here. An incredibly surreal movie. Love this one. I can't say enough great things about it. And this one has uh, the original theatrical cut and alternate ending version. And a whole bunch of special features in here, including some new special features. So I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. Love, love this. I, I'm souped. They pushed this, uh, the release for this Blu-ray back a few times. And I'm so excited that it's finally released from Warner Brothers. And I'll be doing a proper uh, full review for that one coming up soon. Next up from Arrow Video is Contamination. I love the slipcover. Very foily. Oh, the slip cover in the back, part of it is like coming off right here. I guess it's like kind of a different paper design glued to the cardboard. I don't know if you can see that right there. It looks like it's kind of warped. It does the same thing on the bottom. But still a really sweet slip cover on the front. And this is part of their uh, Region A release right here. It's Region A and B. And I love what Arrow Video is doing right here. Uh, tons of special features, great transfers. I love the clear cases. The packaging is on point. you got newly commissioned artwork, reversible artwork, disc artwork right there two disc blu-ray dvd combo pack there's a second disc and then they have the booklet right there as well just awesome just tons of information behind the scenes shots oh, i love that scene i haven't seen this in years so when i was younger i remember being a little bit cheesy uh but entertaining i remember like all the alien pods and alien pods bursting and people getting killed and <laughs> i'll be looking forward to checking this one out there's the original cover art right there so I like the that it has the newly commissioned artwork on with the slip covers. I usually like to put the old cover artwork on there and then you know have the slip cover like that. I know Scream Factory does that a lot too. And uh, Arrow Video has been doing it for a while. And I consider Arrow Video like a combination of Scream Factory and Criterion Collection. Can't wait to revisit this one. Next up from Lionsgate is The Forger. Uh, this was actually pretty decent. Uh, Ty Sheridan is a great young actor. And I really enjoyed him in Mud and Joe and now in here as well. Uh, he's uh, John Travolta is an art forger and he's going to steal a Monet painting, the one with the parasol, and he's getting out of prison to make this deal and he's going to forge the painting that he steals and he's doing all this so he can spend time with his terminally ill son and uh, the son wants to be in on the heist with, it's like a family heist uh, <laughs> forgery movie. Fun for the whole family. Christopher Plummer is the, uh, the father, grandfather. Uh, he's a con man as well. Anson Mount is in here, and who's awesome, great actor. He deserves a lot of leading roles. He does a lot of bit parts, like here. Uh, he's excellent in Hell on Wheels, the AMC show. And he's not on the front cover for whatever reason, but he deserves to be. He's right down the back. 
I actually really enjoy this movie. Uh, definitely one of Travolta's best of recent years. He had the weird chin thing going, like this chin hair thing coming down. I just wanted to cut that off in every scene. Kind of distracting. And the accents are kind of going in and out. Some of the accents, they try a little too hard with it. But overall, pretty decent. I would definitely recommend checking this one out. Um, I'm... You know, like I said, it's one of Travolta's best in a long time. Uh, next up is Maggie, which is one I haven't seen yet. I'm looking forward to checking it out. I love the slipcover. It's like the silver metallic with like scratches all over it. It's awesome. Um, from the trailers, it looks more dramatic. It's, I guess, an infected or zombie movie. I'm not 100% sure yet. Uh, there's a difference in the genres, infected and zombies. Zombies are dead, coming back to life. Infected are people that get sick and become, you know, crazy and trying to kill people. Uh... I heard a lot of people complaining about this because it wasn't action-paced, like they thought with Arnold and it's just automatically going to be, and then infected or zombie genre is usually is as well. But for the trailers, this looked really dramatically paced, so that's what I'm expecting from it. Can't wait to check this one out. The slipcover is super sweet. Next up is Slow West, which I really haven't heard anything about, but I really enjoy Michael Fassbender as an actor, and uh, a few other recognizable faces in here as well. And it looks like a Western movie, and I uh, look forward to checking this one out. And I'm surprised that I haven't heard too much about this because Michael Fassbender is a fantastic actor. And next up is Absolution, right here with uh, Vinnie Jones and Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal, you know, he's done tons of action movies, but the past like 15 years or so, it's just kind of hard to watch him in a lot of these ones. He plays the same typical role, and it's kind of rough to try to see him do the action sequences just because it doesn't look good. Uh, he's older, he's got the obviously the dyed hair and the, the whole goatee thing going on, and He's just a little bit heavier set. Just doesn't work for me personally. Vinny Jones is a badass, though. I love him in every movie he is. Even if it's a small bit part, I just love to see him on screen. He's just kicking ass all the time. Big fan, so I'm looking forward to checking this one. I'm hoping there'll be some decent action sequences. Next up is Last Nights, also from Lionsgate. This is from Lionsgate as well. And again, nice slip cover on this one, too, with Clive Owen and Morgan Freeman. I've heard mostly negative reviews for this one. Uh, looks like it's going to be a Medieval Times kind of one right here. So, looking forward to checking that out. Next up is Beyond the Reach. And the slipcover for this one looks like somebody tried to eat it. You see that? It's crazy looking. Uh, but I am looking forward to checking this one out. The trailer looked awesome. And uh, Michael Douglas and Jeremy Irvine right there. And I look like a couple of other recognizable faces in here too. Uh, trying to see Ronnie Cox. There's somebody else in here that was uh, that I've seen before, uh, but this one looks like it's going to be really tense and thrilling. This guy takes him out uh, to a hunting trip in the middle of the desert, and then he decides to hunt the guy, uh, and he accidentally shoots somebody. Michael Douglas, he's like this really rich guy, and he accidentally shoots somebody, and then the guide right there was going to like turn him in and call the police, and so he decides to have him stripped down and you know try to survive out in the desert, and then he tries to hunt him down. Uh, from the trail, that's what it looks like, and I will be doing a giveaway for this one coming up soon, as well as a giveaway for the forger for maggie and for slow west uh there'll be dvd giveaways and they're gonna be run through uh lion's gate so it's p.o box only and u.s resident only my apologies that's their doing not mine but uh they're dvd only i think for maggie i'm gonna have five dvd giveaway copies and slow west five dvd giveaway uh, giveaway, giveaway copies uh, i think two for the forger and one for Beyond the Reach. So look forward to that once I view these and do a proper reviews. Next up is The Wrecking Crew from Magnolia, which I'll have uh, a giveaway copy for this to DVD. And this was actually mind-blowing. If you're a fan of music history, a must-watch documentary. Uh, it's about The Wrecking Crew, which were session instrumentalists, instrumentalists that were used on tons of well-known albums and uh, songs through the 60s and 70s. They were the go-to ones. And a lot of the uh, instrumentalists in the Wrecking Crew were making more money than the president at the time. They worked with everybody, Frank Sinatra, the Beach Boys, Elvis Presley, Dean Martin, uh, Glenn Campbell, who was actually in the Wrecking Crew, then he had his solo career, and he's still going strong, although he's doing his farewell tour now, he has Alzheimer's, he's going to bring more recognition to that, uh, which is great, and uh, sad that he has that, but uh, it's going to get more recognition. But he, they've worked with everybody in here, Simon and Garfunkel, Nancy Sinatra, the Carpenters, the Ron Nets, just... The Monkees, Sonny and Cher, like The Birds, Mamas and the Papas. And they actually use uh, a lot of interviews from famous people in here. Frank Sinatra, or not Frank Sinatra, sorry. Nancy Sinatra, Sonny, uh, Glenn Campbell, uh, the guy from the Beach Boys, Brian Wilson. Uh, but yeah, and they use archival footage of the Wrecking Crew. And then they had an interview with some of the main people of the Wrecking Crew a few years ago before they passed on. 
Some of them are still alive, some of them passed on, and it was directed by Denny Tedesco, the son of Tommy Tedesco, one of the main guitar players in The Wrecking Crew. So he did a great job honoring his father, The Wrecking Crew, and music history. Highly recommend this uh, if you're into music history, pop and rock, especially in the 60s and 70s. Over six hours of bonus content. They use some great songs in here. Fantastic soundtrack. And I love the, the record, the disc artwork right there, and then the liner notes. It's uh, the music credits. And next up from uh, Lionsgate is While We're Young. I'll have a giveaway copy for this as well, DVD again. Uh, Noah Baumbach is kind of like a, to me, hipsterish, pretentious. I'm not a big fan of his work. I've liked like two of his films and I didn't necessarily love them. I liked them. Kicking and Screaming I liked the most. Uh, but some of his recent ones I just, I couldn't stand. Uh, and I'm hoping that's not going to be the case here with this one. Greenberg especially. I know they work together. Ben Stiller and Noah Baumbach there. Uh, so, not too thrilled about looking forward to this one, but I do like Amanda Seyfried a lot and Naomi Watts, so I'm going to give it a fair chance. Hopefully I'll like it better than the trailers I've seen so far. Uh, next up is uh, Jules Verne's Journey to the Center of the Earth. This is uh, the Twilight Time one, and it's limited to 5,000 copies. I guess that's designated by the blue uh, case right there. Like The other ones have clear cases, and the clear case ones I believe are limited to 3,000, but I haven't seen this in years. This is one I remember loving as a kid. Great adventure. Uh, fantasy kind of movie, sci-fi, uh, but love the heck out of this one. Can't wait to revisit it. Next up is State of Grace from Twilight Time. One of the most underrated and best gangster undercover cop movies ever in my opinion. Gary Oldman deserved Oscar recognition for this uh, role. He was fantastic. A uh, great cast in here. Ed Harris, uh, Sean Penn, Gary Oldman, Robin Wright, uh, John Turturro, John C. Riley. Uh, incredible film. Highly recommend the heck out of this one. I will say it is somewhat formulaic and predictable, but everything else about it works. And Neil Morcone's score as well. Just a top-notch film. Highly recommend the heck out of this one. A uh, great neo-noir crime thriller. Next up is American Buffalo. Also limited to 3,000 copies from Twilight Time. And this one's kind of a depressing movie. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this one to everybody, but if you're into non-traditional movies, I would recommend it. checking it out. Um, Great acting performance is really what drives it. It's very character and dialogue driven. Dialogue heavy. There's only three characters in it. It's mostly them talking about a heist. That never happens. <laughs> uh, but they're kind of down and out. They're kind of uh, on the fringes of society trying to get, you know, do a heist. And uh, it's these two characters right here, Dennis Franz and Dustin Hoffman. And then a young child actor, uh, Sean Nelson. Next up is Mississippi Burning, which I haven't seen in years. Uh, I believe it deals with uh, racial tensions and civil rights. And a great cast in here, though. Gene Hackman and Willem Dafoe. Love Willem Dafoe as an actor. Uh, and I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. Haven't seen it in years. And again, limited to 3,000 copies from Twilight Time. And first on, uh, first time on Blu-ray, at least in the U.S., uh, from Warner Brothers with The Cell. Visually stunning. I really like Tarsum Singh. Uh, the Fall as well as one that I love by him. Uh, this movie is just creepy and atmospheric. Love it. And a lot of people don't like it. And that blows my mind. Great sci-fi horror elements. And I really like... Um, Vince Vaughn was good in here, but Vincent D'Onofrio. Oh my gosh, amazing. And I know this was available in Canada for like years. So happy to see it finally get a U.S. release. Next up, first time on Blu-ray is Virtuosity right here. With Denzel Washington and Russell Crowe. I remember seeing this years ago. I don't remember too much about it. Uh, I think it's kind of like a sci-fi action movie from where I can recall. Looking forward to revisiting it. And next up, I'll be having a giveaway copy for Kung Fu Killer. And I want to say thank you for continuing to support me over the years on here. It's because of you that I have the opportunity to do all these giveaways. So it's getting more exposure for the films and giving back to the people who supported me. So that's the big thing right here. And I'll have a giveaway copy for at least three copies on Blu-ray of Kung Fu Killer. And this will be available worldwide because I'll be sending it out. Uh, and it just looks like an action movie. Uh, it stars Donnie Yen, fantastic action star. Uh, and I don't know too much else about it. It just looks like action to the max. And I'm looking forward to checking it out. Next up is The Town That Dreaded Sundown. This is a uh, Best Buy exclusive on Blu-ray. I just got the DVD right now. I did see the film. Um, I love the young actress in here. I'm not young. She's like, I want to say mid-20s. Uh, but I haven't really seen her in too much else. I've seen her in like, a couple other things. Addison Timlin. She's, I want to say like she's like in her mid-twenties, so, uh, but I feel like she should have been in more things. Like, I, in this movie, I didn't like her, actually, but I've seen her in other things that I was, like, really shocked, because I think uh, the two leads in here kind of brought this down acting-wise, uh, but I've seen her in other things where she's great, so I was kind of surprised by that, but uh, this is actually, it does have some really good thrills. It's not a remake of the original, it's a sequel, and uh, I'm going to do a full movie review for this coming up soon. Uh, very stylistic. Uh, brutal. I like Anthony Anderson in here a lot as well, and uh, 
again, I just thought the leads could have been better in here, but I do love Addison Timlin now. I think she's, I uh, maybe she's cultivated or her acting more since then, but uh, uh, I think this could have been great if the two leads were a little bit better. But besides that, I really did enjoy it. Um, I'll talk more about it in depth coming up soon. Next up is 71 with uh, Jack O'Connell. Uh, this is, it has a Blu-ray steelbook over in the UK, I believe. I think it's been out for a while over there on Blu-ray in the US DVD only, which I'm kind of disappointed in. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, Belfast in 71, and it's a military action movie. So looking forward to checking it out. I haven't heard too much about it, but uh, the trailers looked awesome and tense and riveting. So looking forward to that one. Next up is a six film collection from Warner Brothers right here, including uh, Stella Dallas, Dead End, The Westerner, They Got Me Covered, The Princess and the Pirate, and The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, which I don't know if it's a direct remake or what I th with uh, the Ben Stiller one, but this is from the 40s. So it goes from 37 to 47 with these films. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen any of these, actually. I, I think I might have seen Dead End. I think it's kind of a neo-noir film with, uh, I don't know... Yeah, Humphrey Bogart. I believe I did see that years ago. The rest of them I haven't. I'll be looking forward to checking these films out. Next up is Echoes of War right here, which looks like a kind of Civil War Western movie with William Forsythe, uh, Ethan Embry, who looks awesome. Right? He looks kind of creepy. And uh, James Badge Dale. A few other recognizable faces in here, too. Uh, so looking forward to checking this one out. Next up is Awaken, which I'll do a giveaway coming up soon for two DVD copies. Uh, I personally wasn't a big fan of this one. Uh, it's an action thriller movie. Uh, people that are getting their organs harvested, they're drugged and taken to an island and then hunted. And it uh, has a lot of well-known uh, actors in here kind of uh, that I'm not going to say their careers have passed or I'm not going to, I was going to initially say a douchey thing. I'm going to go ahead and say it. Uh, it should be called The Island of the Washed Up Actors, which is such a D-bag thing to say. It's initially what I thought. Uh, I do like a lot of these actors, but I feel like they haven't been at the top of their game in a long time, or at least at the top of their careers. Uh, Edward Furlong, uh, David Keith, Jason London, Daryl Hannah, Robert Davi, uh, uh, Vinny Jones, who I do love, great action, uh, just a badass all around, and you also have uh, Michael Pare. And uh, the biggest negative about this is Natalie Byrne. I think she was terrible in this. Uh, if they had Gina Carano, I think this would have been a much better movie. Uh, she's a good action and decent actress. She's not that great either way, in my opinion. I think she's a terrible actress, honestly. And Michael Copan looks like a mixture of Dean Cain and then John from John and Kate Plus 8. I kept looking at him the whole time. Like He was actually good in here, though. But I just kept thinking that. Did they not have enough budget for Dean Cain with all the other actors in here? Uh, overall, it was cliche and just uh, uninspired and uh, average at best. But who knows? Maybe you'll like it. And it was nice to see all the actors in here. That's the best thing I can say about it. So we'll be doing a giveaway for it. Uh, next up, uh, I said Wrecking Crew already. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a DVD copy. Here's the DVD copy right here, brand new, still sealed. So that'll be open worldwide. And next up uh, from Disney right here is Teen Beach 2. I never saw the first one, and uh, I'll be checking this one out. So it looks like it's going to be kind of a, a teen beach movie. So family fun, I guess. So there you go. If you've seen any of those movies, definitely let me know what you think of them as well. Look forward to the giveaways. I'll be talking to them more in depth once I do review or view them all. I'll review them properly. So hope everybody's doing well. Take care.